So next, <laughs> we got another multi-million view video. Woman won't leave ex's house. Goes away in cuffs. <laughs> I just like. I'll ask this on a personal level. Mino, what are what's up with women? I need some assistance on this because I don't freaking understand. I do not understand on this front. <laughs> What is happening right now? But let's see how she just escalates things. And I'm already seeing dog <laughs> in the thumbnail. Okay, let's see how this goes. A deputy responded to a report of a woman banging on her ex-boyfriend's door. Okay, this is usually like the other way around where it's the boyfriend that's usually harassing the woman. Nice to see that the shoe is on the other foot. So that's good to know i am a proponent i am a supporter of gender equality so it's nice to see that there is some even playing field for crazy hello wait what was that thing that said okay suspect vehicle i was like wait what was that yellow text said hello hello Oh, that is creepy. She's just standing there. Menacingly. And also not responding either. Let's see how this goes. Reason why you keep knocking on that door? Okay, well, I need you to come over here away from the door. Do what? No? That's a steady beat right there. Just a... Uh... I haven't been around... I haven't been in a relationship before, but I can tell a crazy ex when I see one. And we're looking at it right now. Mm, boy. Oh, boy. Ma'am, step away from the door. I don't want her here. She's been asked to leave many, many times. She doesn't want to leave. I don't want her hurt. I don't want her arrested. I just want her out of here, please. And I want it noted. I want to report. You can see she's been doing this forever. I've been waiting for my glass to come in and break. She dated my son. They're not together anymore. Mm -hmm. And I don't want her on my premises. This is my home. Okay. And I don't this want her here. And here. this is my son. Okay. Son doesn't want his ex-girlfriend around. Mom wants to file a report. And the ex is not leaving. This can get dicey. This can get a little dangerous. I'm curious to see where it gets to. Well, now this is, this is getting into, like, stalker territory. This is getting into, we're about to file a restraining order against you sort of territory. This is, uh, mm. and I don't want him coming out of here because I don't feel safe with her, with him. That is perfectly reasonable. What's she going to do to that guy? How, how badly is she going to freaking get at him as a jilted ex? Hmm. That, Cause again, it's still just that. Steady knock at the door, refusing to leave, refusing to say anything. That's creepy. That's scary. Slightly, if not completely unhinged. Please leave, because you're creeping everybody out. Okay. Ma'am, what is your name? Ma'am, what is your name? I don't want her in trouble. I just want her to understand she's not welcome okay. here. What's her first name? She doesn't Sam want to answer me. Sandra? Samantha? Samantha, mm -hmm. Samantha are, you, are you hearing what she's saying? Hello? Samantha, do you have your driver's license, your ID with you? She is just straight up not even registering that cop's existence. 
Not even looking, just looking down at her phone. Hair's completely hiding her face. I'm just waiting for the head to turn completely 180 degrees upside down, and then she just starts crab walking at him. I'm just waiting for that unsettling moment to happen. Okay, this is going to last for a couple more minutes until my other deputy gets here, and then she's going to have two routes. One, she's going to answer me, or she's going to go to jail. Oh, no, she's going to go to jail. Okay, so please, that's not what we want. Just give me a driver's license. I don't have it with me! Mmm. She snapped a bit there. Mmm. Cover for the sake of everybody involved. You still need to leave. Well, then you need to talk to me. I can understand how relationships and stuff like that can be very, very volatile. Mm hmm. But this is not the way to act like it, because I'm assuming you're. Oh, no, Mina, that was the girl. That was her. If, if anyone's being calm right now, it's the mom that's being super calm and probably the most level headed in this situation right now, at least as far as like the dynamic. I can't vouch for the boyfriend at all, but he's like also not wanting to get involved in any of this. He's staying well inside with a door between him and her. She cray cray right there. She cray cray. An adult. All right. What is your last name? A good luck trying to get her to talk at all, dude. She she ain't giving you the time of day, much less her name in any way, shape, or form. Hmm. <laughs> Not good. Not good in the slightest bit. Amanda, what is your last name? Samantha, if you keep or Samantha. obstructing him, he is going to put you in cuffs. Just give him the information. This is mom. And this is ex boyfriend. And this is. That is a doggo. It's Samantha, correct? Samantha. There's the doggo. Look at the little doggo. The shining beacon in this video. <laughs> Saw it in the thumbnail. And he's a cute little doggo that just got out there. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> oh, well, the dog's not at fault here. The dog's, I guess, with the mom and the boyfriend. So if anything, it's a good thing that this isn't the ex-girlfriend's dog, so... He's a kid that came out there and he's just like, oh, new people. Notice how she, this, notice how the dog ran past her and went to the cops. They already know who's the good people in this situation. So. Yeah, just just put, just put the dog back in there. For, for the dog's safety. With her telling if she wants her to leave. Samantha, you're currently trespassing. Mm -hmm. Do you have ID on you? You don't? No, or do you, are you not going to provide it? I don't have it. Okay. Interesting. So you drove here without an ID, without a license. Interesting. Also, if you want to take a note that the mom is currently tr keeping sure that the door stays closed. Good mom. Very good mom at protecting her family. Mad props. I'm asking. No. Do you Are you going to leave? In your car? Yeah. You have your registration in your car. Can you run that you tag right there on that car? I'm sure I'm about to show your registration. Are you Are you going to leave right now off this property? Did you just see that? Somebody tried. The boyfriend, I guess, tried to open the door, but the mom just kept it shut. It's like, don't get involved. Don't do anything. Don't Don't escalate. Don't get involved. Just stay safe. Good mom. Good frickin' mom. Is this her car right here? Yes. Okay. Is that a yes or no? Sam. I'm not gonna ask you again. Sam, they're not playing with you. We just want you to leave our home. We don't wish you any ill will. You're just not welcome here anymore. You mm -hmm. need to leave. Why would you want to go and obstruct justice and get yourself into trouble when you're being given the chance by three officers to leave here who are yes. being very respectful and calm with you and giving you the chance to go to your home and deal with whatever it is that you need to deal with today and not be here and get yourself in trouble it's not worth it she's fidgeting with her fist on the door frame she really wants to punch somebody there she really wants to punch somebody there that is 
that is not a good thing. But you know what is good? <laughs> Out of context, and this will be in the video, Booty Tickler giving Maria a tier one sub. <laughs> Much a freaking appreciated there, my guy. Much a freaking appreciated. Though you may want to save your channel points for the sound alerts later when they're not currently disabled. So, <laughs> thanks again. But let's let's get back to this. You just can't stay here. That's going to cause you problems later. Mm hmm If you get arrested. Mm hmm That's, that's going to be on a record. That's going to follow you till the day you die. You don't want... You don't want that. i go back to court. Then you're considered a stalker. Then you're obstructions of justice. Now listening to a police officer. Are you, are you going to leave right now? Please leave. Just go. And do not come back. Is that a bad deal? Yes or no? Okay. So you heard her. She wants you trespass from this point. Go. It's on camera. If you are, come back on this property and we catch you here, you go to jail. You understand? All she does is a thumbs up. She is no doubt seething right now. She wants to punch somebody. She wants to strangle somebody, but there's at least one side of her that's saying, don't keep it together or else things are going to get very nasty. Gah. All right. Thank you. I don't know. De-escalated. I just, I just know she's young and dumb, and I just don't. I would hate to see her mess up her future. Oh, I know. Trust me. Little, but she's also a little dangerous, and that worries me. Mm -hmm. All right, like Rightfully say, so. Come back on your property. You call us. Well, she's gonna give us another reason to take her. Show Samantha twenty-seven eight this property. Are we getting a fourth one now? Are we, are we getting a fourth woman that just drives recklessly away from the scene? <laughs> Four in a row. Are you freaking kidding me? You're welcome. She just blew through that stop sign. Go get her. She's going to kill somebody. Yep. Here we go. Go get him, boys. The suspect passed seven business parking lots, multiple side streets, and a few turning lanes, but didn't stop. 2748, we're continuing 27, 40 miles an hour. That ain't good at all. But I will say, Booty Tickler with another gift that said the easy. Much freaking appreciated on that flight. We're 50 and a 50 in the slow lane. So yeah, she's not she's not even speeding though. She's just not complying again. <laughs> so Ugh, boy oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy. Not to freaking good on that front. Not freaking good on that front. <laughs> we're slowing down, we're coming up to West Virginia Street. Turn the car off! Turn it off! Ooh, I'm gonna move the camera here real quick because he ain't playing around up there. He is not playing around. Just want to point that one out right there. Turn the car off! Turn it off! Turn the car off! Turn the mother car off! What the f*** did they do? Oh, now you're crying and talking and carrying on. <laughs> what did I do? Unlock the door. Get on the car. What did I do? Get out. Oh my God, what did I do? 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 Didn't comply. Didn't listen. Reckless driving. Also, stalking, fleeing, refusing to stop. And just being generally crazy.
But now when the long arm of the law is now being exerted against you, now you're all going to start talking and start crying and everything. <sighs> Wonderful. Don't move! What did it's I over. do? What did I do? How about run a stop sign, school your tires, and you fail to yield. Now you're under arrest. I didn't fail to yield. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. No, I did not. You <laughs> failed to yeah. yield. You didn't stop at all. Get against the car. Can you guys explain to me what did I do? Come over here. Turn around. Can you guys explain to me? He what just told did I you do? what you did. I did not fail. That's another thing I've noticed is like whenever you get to explaining what it is that the the perp is doing, they have very bad memory. What did I do? What did I do? It's just like you know what you did. Stop trying to weasel your way out of this situation. You done did know what you're doing here. Fail to yield. You squealed your tires in the neighborhood. You blew the I stop sign. I squealed my tires, tires because this and I car. And to pull you over. And you didn't want to stop all the way from because Lake Minnesota Shores in 27. Where am I supposed to stop? We are two miles away I from anywhere. That. That's why I stopped here, right here by nope, the. Entrance. You could have pulled in the gas station, the city hall. Mm -hmm. Any street and turn lane. But I mm -hmm. didn't understand why you guys were coming after me. <laughs> just don't want to admit it, do you? You just don't want to admit that you're a crazy jilted ex with a chip on her shoulder and an axe to grind. <laughs> you just don't want to admit it. Okay, that's not how that works. Can you guys please not oh, yes. Oh, we're doing this. Can you guys please No, you're in arrest. This? Your car's getting towed. Yep. What did I do? Can I, can I have my phone? Nope. It will go with you, all right? Can you guys please not do this? Do you this? mind searching her for me? Can you guys please awesome. not do this? What did I no, do? No, it's over. And you're getting resisting arrest, too. No, yep. What do you yes. Do? Mm -hmm. Sit down. Do? Sit down. Just get in there. We're done talking. Can you guys please? No. Sit down and sit back. Sir. Sit back. Sir. Sit back. I, I can't. Yes, you can. Why are you holding me like that? Because you won't move. That's why. <laughs> you guys gave me nowhere to freaking stop. There was plenty of places to stop. Cool either. I'm not from here. I don't just stop in the middle of the road. The suspect was charged with multiple crimes. Fleeing and eluding law enforcement marked unit. Mm hmm. With lights and sirens activated. That's an escalation there. Resisting arrest without violence. Possession of marijuana. <laughs> oh, wonderful. She had marijuana in, the, in her, on her person, so she had drugs. Wonderful. Possession of drug paraphernalia, which is probably the implementation of said drugs. I don't know. But, yep. Yeah. Yep, she had drugs. Wonderful. Including possession of marijuana, which was discovered in her vehicle. Mm -hmm. She was given bond and eventually pleaded not guilty. <laughs> the video says otherwise. Her case is still open, so consider subscribing to Crime Scene Cam for updates. And check out these next videos. Ken. This is why we've got the body cams now. Not just for documentation of everything that's happening, but for wonderful content to sift through on our own. So, <laughs> Jeez, that's the second one that's pled not guilty, even though there's overwhelming evidence to su suggest otherwise. Good luck with that one, man. You're crazy.